September 15th. It's been raining all day. Just skies broke, sun came out. Still pretty cool though for this time of year. Fulton and I are headed in. Climb up in a stand. See what happens. Stay tuned. That little buck thinks he's something else, doesn't he? I didn't know, I didn't know if it was gonna happen. I mean, we had a bunch of deer in here and it, they just all cleared out about 20 minutes ago. Nothing smelled us, but they just kind of moved on off up into the clear cut and nothing. I mean, it was a steady stream of deer all afternoon and then all of a sudden, you know, for 20 minutes, there's nothing. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, we should probably get down because there's nothing here. And we can get out of here without spooking anything. And I look up and there's a doe coming down the road. And then another doe. And then a fawn. And then I look 
and I see a buck and I put my bottoms on it and it's him. I cannot believe that. That is a big body deer. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go check the arrow and see what happened. Guys, that is my first self-filmed whitetail hunt. I might have filmed a doe kill or something back in the day, but that is my first self-filmed buck for sure with any weapon. I'm going to tell you, I filmed some beautiful footage in the past, and this, this was not my best job, so go easy on me. Like I said, it's my first time. The framing wasn't right. I had it set up. I thought he's just gonna walk into where we put the corn and the corn spike out and he was following that doe but the doe turned and ran and he kind of stopped short and it, it was just getting so dark I figured I better go ahead and take the shot but I think he was in the frame I'm left-handed so I got my bow in my left hand and my cameras right here on my left side and I'd already set it up and I was just nervous that if I didn't do it right he was gonna he was going to get out of there. I didn't know if I had time to set my bow down or not, but I'm pretty sure we got him. Dude, that thing's a tank of a body. We're going to let it get dark, and we're going to get down, take our stuff off, and we're going to slip out there and check the arrow out. So we'll see you in just a second. Just got out of the stand, took our stuff off, left our packs on the ground. I can see a lighted knock right over there. Let's go take a look at the arrow and see the shot. Look like it was a touchback, and I'm I'm not gonna lie, I've filmed a lot better hunts than that before, but that's the first time I've ever self-filmed myself shoot a buck. So go easy with me on the framing. But he's a really big deer. Go over here and take a look at this arrow. you want to see right there look at that that thing is just absolutely coated and we got a good pass through look at that look at that yeah that's what you want to see right there man That's a good looking sight right there. First blood of the year. Now when he took off, he took off hard out of here. And he went right up this roadway. And then cut in the woods. So, God, this light really sucks right here. Good blood right here. Look how high that is. All over this stuff. Holy crap, dude. He's right here. Right there. <sighs> oh my goodness. Holy cow. He is right there. I'm starting to worry. <sighs> man. That blood started getting a little thin, but in this stuff, man, it's just so hard to find. We were finding it waist high where it was wiped on stuff, but 
we got in a little open patch back there and it just got real hard to find. We had to get down on our hands and knees. And Holy cow, look at this body on this deer right here. Oh my God, look at the body on this joker. Holy cow, dude. It was a touch back, but he was, he was quartered and says, look at the body on this thing, man. Holy cow. Yeah. Look at that, dude. You know, these branches get down on my level. Oh my God. He is huge. Big old body, big old neck. And look at that, man. Just a beautiful buck. Beautiful early season cape. Man, I, I tell you what, I'm so blessed to be able to do this. And I just finished up editing a hunt for Holden, who's actually behind the camera. And he's like, hey man, he's like, you helping me with these hunts and teaching me how to film and edit, he's like, you want to come give it a shot and uh, oh my gosh I had no idea it was gonna be something like this this has got to be the biggest body deer I've ever killed beautiful brow tines man we had an awesome sit he uh, saw probably 15 20 deer the wind was swirling down there in that bottom and man I was given let me show you something this little corn spike can right here, I was literally doing CPR on it. I was squeezing it, just puffing that powder out because the wind kept swirling on us. And we didn't get busted not one time tonight. Uh, had does, had had some little bucks in there sparring. Got a cool little fight on camera, but uh, we, you know, everything kind of moved off and it just got, started getting really, really dark on us. And uh, all of a sudden we look up and there's some does coming down the road and I, I see a rack and look and it's him man yeah big old neck just beautiful beautiful early season cape man holding I can't thank you enough that is a great buck right there <laughs>